modeling is very important in the case of control system because if we know if we can perform the modeling then we can find out transfer function and from the transfer function we can check the stability of a system response of a system using the Bode plot, polar plot or root locus. There are numerous types of modeling we have. The very basic one is a mechanical system in which we will first try to understand the translational motion. In the translational system, the motion of body is takes place along a straight line. The input is the force and output may be the displacement, velocity or acceleration. The element of this system are mass represented by M, spring, spring K, damper either letter b is used or c is used. now these elements their values or their magnitude will not change with respect to time so values of mass spring and damper remains constant the variables of variables of this force is variables of the translation system are the force f of t indicating that it is a variable with respect to time displacement x of t velocity x dot t that is dx by dt and acceleration x double dot t that is the second derivative of displacement. Let try to understand the concept of impedance for mass, spring and damper. Let consider here a mass m acted upon by the force f of t and has one displacement x of t. Mass is assumed to be rigid body hence only one displacement is required to define the motion completely. So we have only one variable required to define the motion. So everywhere all the particles of this mass will move with the same velocity x of t. So I can show either on this side or either on this side or somewhere. But everywhere it means that the velocity is always right. According to the Newton's second law, second law, we have force equal to mass into acceleration. So force f of t is equal to m into x double dot t. We can take a Laplace transform. And if we take a Laplace transform, we get f of s is equals to ms square multiplied by x of s here ms square is so in case of mass you have to remember ms square as impedance let us consider now the as shown in the spring as shown in the figure the spring required two displacement because it is a flexible element f of t is the force applied x1 is the displacement at the force end and on the other end the displacement is x2 t according to hooke's law the force is proportional to k times displacement your net displacement is x1 minus x2 so force is equals to k times x1 minus x2 so f of t is equals to k times x1 of t minus x2 of t now we'll take the laplace so laplace transform f of t is f of s laplace constant is as it is x1 t is replaced by x1 s x2 t is replaced by x2 to s here this term k is called as the impedance of the spring so we have two components two elements one is mass whose impedance is ms square and spring has an impedance equals to k Another useful component used in the system is a damper or a dash pot. It is basically consists of one cylinder and a piston arrangement in which oil is filled. The damper is also a flexible element, so it requires two, uh, two variables to define the motion. So figure is almost same except we have a damper here. The force f of t, the displacement is x1 t and other displacement is x2 t. f of t is equal to c times the x dot multiplied by t plus minus x2 dot t. The unit of c is newton second per meter and x dot is velocity meter per second. So second will be cancelled, meter meter cancel. So we get a force is equal to uh, force is equal to c into x dot. If we take a Laplace transform, we'll get f of s is equal to c times s, x1 s minus x2 s. Here the c1 s is called as the c s is called as the impedance of the so for mass we have impedance is ms square, for spring we have impedance k is equals to k and for damper we have cs. We are using here method of impedance, impedance this is very simple straightforward method. We will take this in the three stages. First case is that the system has a single displacement x of t. In the according to impedance method the sum of impedance around x of t multiplied by x of s is equals to Laplace transform external force. Let us consider here one system having spring constant k m is equals to mass and c is a damper let apply the force at here and we will get displacement two variables are required for k one variable is fixed that is equal to zero other variable is x this displacement is x and this is the force f this has a two required two variable one is x other is zero and mass has required one variable x so this motion is completely defined 
so according to this definition the sum of impedance around x so x k is connected m is connected c is connected impedance of m is m square impedance of c or b is bs and impedance of k is k multiplied by x of s equal to f of s transfer function is defined as Laplace transform of output upon input x of s upon f of s is equal to 1 upon m s square plus b s plus k we can represent like this the input multiplied by the gain is equals to output so f of s multiplied by 1 upon m s square plus b s plus k equals to x of s let's consider the other system here the mass m is supported from the bottom side using a spring k and damper c a force f of t is applied mass is displaced downward in x of, x of t spring required two displacement one displacement x of t other is ground damper required two displacement one is x of t other is ground so using the def same definition the sum of impedance around x x is connected to mass so you have to consider everything about the mass m impedance of mass m is m square impedance of k is k and this one is b or c so we have impedance of b is equal to bs multiplied by x of s is equal to f of s so we will almost get the same result now let's take the second case here when the system has two displacement x of t and y of t let's consider that the force is acting on x of t then the displacement x of t is greater than the y of t so your first variable in this matrix is x of s and second derivative is second uh, variable is y of s it was written like this sum of impedance around x of t x of s minus sum of impedance between x and y multiplied by the second displacement variable is y of s is equal to Laplace transform of f of t which is acting on x of t the second equation is minus is the same term here sum of impedance between x and y x of s plus sum of impedance around y of t multiplied by y of s must equal to zero you substitute, substitute here solve this matrix using a Kramer's rule and then find out the required transfer but in case the force is applied on y of t then y of t is greater than x of t so naturally you are the first variable is y of s so that is a minor change instead of x of s it will be y of s and the second variable is x of t and almost each term remains same so in right while writing these matrices you have to first check out whether the force is acting on x of t or the force is acting on y of t if the force is acting on x of t then your first variable x of s second variable is y of s and if the force is acting on y of t then your first variable is y of s and second variable is x of s so we have a mass system here with which we have two masses m1 and m2 m1 is supported by k1 and c and uh, mass m2 is attached to the mass m1 with the help of spring k2 here we required minimum one variable for m1 and one variable for m2 let the force is applied on m1 having a f of t corresponding displacement x of t and uh, y of t is the displacement of m2 since the force is applied on m1 we have x of t is greater than y of t that is our first situation so in this case x of t is greater than y of t so we have to use the equation 1 and 2 that is first term is x of s second term is y of s and if we have a situation like this suppose this is y somebody says that this is x then in that case the force is applied on y of t so y of t is greater than x of t and therefore your first term will be y of s and second term will be x of s that is you have to use equation number 3 and 4 